morning guys, we're gonna test the Hornady from the custom line, nine millimeter Luger, 124 grain XTP round. Love the XTP round, you guys know that. You've heard me test them, seen me test them before. Got some chickens over here that are debating with me. Apparently, one of them's gonna be called dinner if you don't go away. See what a nine millimeter goes through that? No, just kidding guys, just kidding. Anyway, product number here, 90242. They got this thing rated out of the muzzle at 1110. We'll see what happens out of a Glock 26. I'm sure that was out of a five inch test barrel, but we're gonna find out what it does out of a baby Glock. And we're also gonna find out what it does in ballistics gel. Four layers of denim through calibrated ballistic gel with that. So let's get it loaded up and check it out, guys. 124 grain XTP, short barrel nine out of the baby Glock. Check it out. Check it out, guys. Okay, guys, there's where that XTP one in. About three quarters of an inch. Looks like the damn thing just opened up all at once. Massive track right there. Massive track. Twirling in, cutting. All the denim's lost down there, about, about two inches. Little flake here, little flake there. Twirling in, cutting. You can see it starts losing the twirl, losing some energy. We're right here at about nine get to about the 10 point it's done twirling it streamlines goes into the second block still streamlining still streamlining pushing in pushing in pushing in takes about a little bit of a left turn and if you guys look close straight down it's there at about 18 and three quarter let me get that up out of there for you guys okay guys have that 124 grain XTP up out of the gel 18 and three quarter you can see right there, it got a little bit clogged with denim. Didn't stop the hollow point from expanding. These XTP rounds keep performing very good. 18 and three quarter, four layers denim, calibrated gel. Rocking it out of a baby Glock, guys. Let me get that side cut. Okay, guys, here's that side view. That 124 grain Hornady custom load. Awesome round, guys. You guys seen that going in. I showed it to you earlier. Here's the side cut. Not a lot of denim. We can see it, the hollow point got clogged, but it didn't stop it. Look at that. Exploded open right there. Inch and three quarter, maybe two. Coming on down, twirling in. It is kicking some butt right here. Cutting really deep. A lot of trauma right here between that one. If you go on down here to about the six, a lot of trauma. Still twirling a little bit, still twirling. Looks like it goes into its flatline pattern. And then it flatlines down to its resting spot. Damn good round, guys. Damn good round. Clogged with denim. Didn't affect it at all. Didn't affect it at all. Kick some butt. Look at that wound track, guys. Weights and measurements and post. Okay, guys, we're at the post of that custom Hornady 9mm Luger 124 grain XTP. Some of you guys are going... Hold on a second, didn't we do this already? We did. Last year, back in September, the later part of September, 2013, we did this exact same test, short barrel, nine millimeter test. I think it was the second or third one we did in the short barrel series. Well, why are we doing it again? Comparison reasons. We had a lot of people bannering back and forth that this, this round isn't any good, this and that. And we all know that it is, it's one of the better rounds out there. And we're gonna prove it today. We just proved it in the video. The first one, if you go back to September 21st of last year, here's the round right here. It didn't clog at all. It penetrated 18 and a half inches. The wound channel was like a half an inch to eight and three quarter. Compared to the one we just shot today. It clogged, still performed, and it clogged. One inch to nine inch. Awesome wound channel again. Comparison, a year later, two different lot numbers out of the same pistol we get damn near identical results, whether it clogged or not. That's how good this round works. Weight retention was 123.4 last year out of this one. Weight retention this year, 124.3. Max expansion last year out of one that did not clog was 526. That's weird. This one clogged. Max expansion, 526. Average was 518 this year, which the average was a little bit bigger over last year. 515. Once again, guys, 
the round proves itself time and time again. Year later, different lot number, same pistol, same calibrated gel, one clogged, one did not clog. The Hornady Custom Line is a damn good round. The XTP round, damn good round. 124 grain, perfect for the short barrel pistol as you see there, the Glock 26. That's a damn good comparison a year later, guys. You guys have a good one.